Hello and welcome to the House of Valentina and another Friday with V. I am so excited to share today's video with you guys because I've been thinking about this for quite some time and I realized that when I said, I remember, do, you guys, do you guys remember, have you followed the channel long enough to remember when we did the colors of the year? It was a few months ago and we talked about what colors were gonna be really in and sort of this transition away from stark white to something warmer. Do you remember that big conversation that we had and how we talked about how beige was gonna start being a thing and we were gonna really be warming things up. Well, you know, sometimes when I say those things, it's almost as if I, I predict what I think is gonna come, but like I'm not necessarily 100% sold on it. <laughs> is that fair to say? <laughs> so it's kind of taking me by surprise this whole beige thing. Because even though I said, yes, beige is gonna be like everything we're craving, I think maybe part of me wasn't really sure about it, to be perfectly honest. And what I found is that once I started putting more beige into my own home, I just literally cannot get enough of it. So I thought it'd be really fun to hang out together today for me to share with you why I think beige is like something that we're all craving. And I'm gonna just take you around my house. I'm gonna show you how I'm mixing it into my own home. And that way, I hope it'll just give you lots of ideas on how you can mix it into your own home. And I may even, I may even have a place where I'm thinking about painting the walls beige. And I may even share that with you if we have enough time. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna drink a sip of my coffee and let's dive in. I feel like it's so moody in here. Does it feel moody? It's like the lighting in here is so moody. And I think that's kind of perfect. That's kind of what it is about beige is that it just adds this sort of moodiness. And I think that it also adds a ton of warmth. And I said quite a while ago, we've been talking about the beige and things warming up. We've been talking about it for a while. We've been seeing that trend happening in Europe even before the pandemic hit. It was really starting to, I was really seeing a lot of my favorite companies really switching over to a more beige color theme and undertones. And so I was like, well, I know something's happening. Something's going on. And I feel like the pandemic just in general just sort of accelerated all of this. So if you haven't checked out the video where we talked about the color palette of the year, I would definitely recommend checking that video out because I think it'll give you a lot more background into why I think these colors are gonna be something that we're just really craving, not just this year. Like this is gonna be one of those things. Like if you think back to the 70s, you probably think of like orange and browns and you think of like a color palette that really just sort of defines a, a decade really. And so I really think that the beige thing, this is not gonna go away anytime soon. This is, this is a trend in some sort of way because we are, we're changing things, right? We're, we're, we're seeing this big change, but I think it's here to stay. I think this is gonna be one of those things that we're gonna be craving for a really long time and it's just not gonna be going anywhere and it's going to define, I believe it's gonna define this decade. There you go, I know. That was a big bold statement to say, but there you go. So when you think about the color beige, I think that a lot of people start to flip out because if you did the beige in the 90s, you're probably thinking about the yellow undertone beiges. And uh, I completely understand, I did that too. And I loved it in the moment. And then I was tired of it. And I think that when you've painted over something and you've, be, you've created a hateful <laughs> relationship with something, it can be hard to then think about it again. But for me, I'm, I'm moving to a beige place and the way that I see beige being moved now is much more of a brown undertone. So I, I think that if you're afraid of it, I think you should just realize that it's something new. It's gonna be a little bit different. It's not gonna be the same as before. It's gonna be something really fresh. And I think once I show you around my house and what I've been doing with it, it's so, it's, it's just a perfect neutral. There really isn't a color palette that I, I couldn't use beige with. There, it's, it's just a perfect neutral. It goes with white, it goes with black, it goes with, you know, greens and blues. It, there really is nothing that you could want to do in your home that the beige isn't gonna be amazing in. I brought the little deck out because I was thinking, oh, it might be really helpful 
for me to kind of show you on the color deck here. So when you think about the beiges of the 90s, most of us were decorating more towards this yellow and golden side. And so you'll see there's some beige sitting back here. Does that feel kind of familiar to you guys? Like if you decorated in the 90s and the early 2000s, that's kind of where we were. I remember somebody walked into my family room in our little house that we had here in Atlanta and they were like, oh, it feels buttery. And I was like, buttery? That's not, I wasn't going for buttery. But then I realized like she was picking up on the yellow undertones that were in that space. Well. We've been slowly but surely moving away from these sort of blues to the sort of brownish beige. And I think that's where we're gonna kind of stay for a while. And I just, I'm always slow to like, I'm willing to jump onto a trend in a heartbeat. I, I'm willing to love it the minute it comes. But incorporating it into my own home, I'm always just like, let me just try a little bit. Okay, let me try a little bit more. Let me make sure I'm really like into this. And because I maybe don't want to change every single thing in my house, this is a great way for you to just sort of test out an idea and see if it just sort of sits well with you. So again, you can see here where we've got dirty martini, uh, softer tan. And these are definitely, you can see down at the bottom how they are brown in undertone. And then you've got your blues, which is where we were a few years ago and why so many of us are changing because a lot of people just don't wanna live in that sort of bluish tone. I can translate that really easily into something that's rustic. I can translate it super fast into something that's maybe a farmhouse or a rural setting, but the city, that I wasn't so sure about. I see a lot of people using beige in really rustic ways, but for the modern side of me, I was like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work. And the more I see it, the more I'm like, oh, it works. Oh, it works. It looks so good. What have I been doing in my own house? Well, first of all, <laughs> I got a new lamp, and it is definitely that sort of warmish, almost like a taupe. It's, it's almost taupe, but it's a beige-ish kind of color. And yeah. I mean, I'm just freaking out over it. This is this is the Cobra lamp. And one of my favorite things about it is that it is from one of my favorite, favorite Scandinavian design companies called Gooby. They're based out of Copenhagen. And I used to love to go to their showroom and just walk around and it was really inspiring. And they partner with amazing designers. And one of their key products is this lamp that was designed by Greta Grossman. Greta Grossman was one of the first female designers really coming out of that mid-century time period. She moved to the US with her husband and she became an architect and a designer. And at that time, there weren't a lot of women that were doing that. And every time I see this lamp, I, first of all, I love the fact that she called it the Cobra because it really kind of mimics that Cobra shape. But I also just love the fact that it's for me, it's a sign of empowerment. Yeah, I think it's it's definitely more towards the topish brown side of beige, but I'm gonna show you how I'm mixing these colors, all these neutrals together. And I just, I think they just work. They work really well with black. They work really well with these sort of creamy tones. Uh, the chair is not, it's pretty close to pure white, but I mix my whites and creams and beiges into my house. So I'm hoping this will be really helpful for you because I don't want you to feel like you are enslaved to a certain style. This color palette works for any style. It really does. And I think it's a lot of fun to explore it in your own home and to try and order something like a lamp and see how it sits in your home and if you really like it. And once you go down this road, you may discover that you wanna take it further. Maybe you're ready for a total change in color in your house. I mean, I literally just painted this room and I love the fact that these creamy tones just work. And the reason they work is because I didn't go for a stark black in the space. It's a like a charcoal-y, just sort of like brown undertoned gray that almost reads as black. It, on camera, I think it really reads as black, but I I just love it. I love it. Now, let me show you a couple more things, shall we? Do you just wanna like take a little tour and I'll show you some other stuff? Okay. Okay, so now 
Now I wanna show you some other ways that I'm adding beige into my home because I wanna show you how simple this is to be able to do in your own home. One of my favorite things to do is to look at my books and see what books that I have that might have a beige cover on them or you might get lucky and maybe the, uh, the actual book underneath the cover may actually have a beige tone in there. And you're gonna see, these beiges, I am not being a slave to a certain tone of beige. I am mixing them all together in the same room. I, th I find that a lot of people get hung up on that, that they feel like they have to literally make every single thing in the room match. Like, to the point that they won't order anything unless it's a perfect match to everything. I don't think you have to do that. I really like a room that just feels a little bit more developed and it's got a little bit more depth. So don't be afraid to mix something that's maybe a little bit more tan with something that's, look at these. These are all sitting here together and they just, they're all different tones of like a creamy sort of beige-ish color and they all just work perfectly together. It, so don't feel like you have to be a slave to this. But books are one of my favorite ways to be able to add beige into any space, and it will instantaneously warm up your room, which is pretty cool, I think. Okay, so there you go, some beige books. Now, one of my other favorite things to do, oh, I'm so into this, oh my gosh, I love it so, so much. If you saw our last video, you saw that I just added a marble, well, it's, it's travertine. It's a travertine table to my sunroom, and it's really adding a lot of warmth into my space, and I just love the way it just really warmed up all those creamy colors and added a lot of depth to the space. I, I just, I'm freaking out, I just love it. So you could add travertine to your space, you could add marble, you could add it through furniture, you could, oh, there's so many beautiful coffee tables out there, dining tables, you could do a side table in it if you are just wanting a little accent piece. There's so many ways that you could bring these natural stones into your space in a warmer color. I just got these little cool bookends. They're actually off of Amazon. They're from a Danish company called Bloomingville. I didn't even put that in that last Scandinavian haul. This was another one that I had forgotten about. But yeah, I mean, I just think that a little piece like this can really warm up the space and you can put it next to, I've got it sitting here with the black. I think it looks great with black. I really, really love to mix the browns and the blacks and the beige. I'm, I'm so addicted to this color palette. I can't even tell you. You could also use this color palette for your exterior. I'm doing that for a lot of clients. We do a lot of paint consultations in our area and we just love to be able to create those palettes that are just really warm for the exterior. And we're really seeing that people are like, I don't want a pure white house. Can, can Is there something else that would still look good? I'm like, yes, <laughs> beige. <laughs> All right, let me show you over here. Now, over here, I've been adding a lot of beige, a lot. And I ordered this beautiful bedding set off of um, West Elm. And to be perfectly honest, I really wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna order it and try it because this is something really new for me. I've never ordered a sort of like beige oatmeal kind of colored bedding ever. I've never done that before. I, I can't think of any house that I've ever done that. I've always been the crisp white linen girl. But when I ordered this, it was just so beautiful. Let me show you the little sham. So you can see, I've got it sitting with the white linen and I have it sitting with the creamy white kind of bed. Cause the bed is not a pure, pure white, but I'm mixing all of them. I mean. I feel like I'm like, it's almost like like it's so evil. I'm missing all of them. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. And I just love it. I think that it works. I think that this with, even with the toe, look at, I am, I am out of control. To be perfectly honest, I've got the taupe blanket laying on my side of the bed. Look at that, taupe. Taupe with a white, bed, a creamy white. I've got white linen pillowcases. And then on top of that, I've got this beige. I've also got back here, 
I've got the beige duvet cover that I ordered from Zara Home and I, I love it. I love how warm it feels. I love just, it feels, it still feels really modern to me and that's what I need. I need something that feels relevant to me. It feels like it's clean lined and minimal in just its aesthetic, but it also just feels so cozy and warm and we love to just run and jump into the bed and it's just, it's just comfy. I love it. Then down below, I've got the, the leather. I've got that black. I've got that big punch of black in the leather bench, but then I've softened it with adding this sort of beige, beige blanket. This one is from H and M and I just love how you can just kind of throw that down on here. And then down below, I've got the black and the creamy. It's almost kind of creamy. It's almost not quite beige. It's almost more cream, but I'm kind of mixing all those things together. And I just love the result. I'm, I'm just happy in my space right now. It just feels so good. So, um, yeah. And then even here, I've got the little beige planter, which we got from Target. So it wasn't that I, I started out slowly, just kind of adding a couple little things in and then it just like snowballed because it's making me so happy and I'm enjoying it so much that I'm like, I need more of this. So I'm like, oh, which room should I take you to next? Um, let me take you to the kitchen because you're gonna be shocked. You're going to be shocked by what I'm thinking about doing in the kitchen. Okay, let's go, let me show you. Yes, I am standing next to some samples of some beige colors that I'm thinking about adding into my own home. and. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but I've been thinking about it for a while because I started by bringing in these little beige accents like the gorgeous little lamp that we just got in that I'm flipping out over. So you could just simply bring in more lighting into your home, but I've definitely been thinking about taking it up a notch. I really wanted to warm up my space a little bit more and it's been a process for me because I was like, no, I only want white. And I still may keep this room white. I'm just really kind of processing through it because this is still so new for me at least. So I've got some samples. These are still maybe just a little bit too blue for me. You can see here, this one's very blue. That one's ginger sugar. This is mocha cream and then this is dove. So I've been thinking about once I had these sort of beige kind of colors in here, once I brought that in through the mixer, I've been bringing these sort of this little palette into my space and you can see how it just all really, really works together. And so I think that painting a space, I may have some samples just like this sitting in the powder room as well, because I'm like, I want to try this. I think it's, at least I hope that it's helpful for you guys when I show you what it looks like to just bring it in and try it. And I think that there's certain areas of your home that are a lot easier to try these things in. Powder room may be a great spot to just try a beige. We just did a beige color in our daughter's bedroom and I loved it so much. I was like, I just literally want to live in this room. And you know, she's 20, so she doesn't really want mom in her room all the time. So I was thinking, I really want more of this for myself and for us. Some of the other things that I've been thinking about a lot are, you could switch out your countertops is another easy way that you could instantaneously bring beige into your home. This one is Buxton by Cambria and the light is so direct. Here we go. I just want you to be able to see how warm that is. And when I put it next to this one, this is Rose Bay by Cambria. I wanted to show you kind of how you can really see that sort of brownish sort of beige kind of color in this, but even this one, lingering back behind there is a lot of that sort of beige undertone that's even in this one. So for me, I did not do a pure white. It's pretty hard to get a pure white countertop, but even if you did pure white, you could still do beige on the walls. There's kind of, it's one of those colors that just kind of works with everything. That's what makes it so good. Is that you're not, I don't know, you're not having to redo your entire house. And that's what I like. It's like, oh, I can just make some little adjustments. Some of the other things that I did in here, if you watched our recent video where we were styling up the kitchen for the month of February, you would have seen that I brought the stone, 
this is literally a garden sphere. Okay? It came from our local garden center. And I keep trying to find more stuff like this and it's really kind of, it's a little difficult online. Even in person, I'm having a little bit of a struggle, but I think having something with this sort of warmth and texture in it, it, it is beige. So if you take the palette and you've got your little palette, you can sit it back here and you can kind of see how you're like, oh, that is that palette. There's a little bit of beige in this art piece. There's a little bit of that sort of beige in the stone. And it just works to bring these colors into your house. It's just, they just come in really easily. Even my little bread basket that I just got just has this sort of palette, right? And it just, it just works. It just works. So even if you want to keep the white in your home, I know a lot of you have painted your houses white or maybe you're ready to just try something on the walls. I feel like no matter where you kind of are on the spectrum, it works to bring beige into your space and it just warms it up tremendously. And you can bring it in in ways that are rustic and you can bring it in in ways that are more glossy and shiny. Let me take you to my office for a minute. Come on. Now that we're in the office, you guys have probably noticed that we've been bringing a lot of beige into the office. And a lot of you were like, are we, are we doing beige now? <laughs> I love reading your comments because you guys are hilarious. You're just like, whoa, whoa, we need to have a conversation about this, Valentino. Well, did you really just bring beige into your house? Because this is something new. And I, I love it when you guys write me that stuff because it, it does actually help me to know what you're thinking when you write the comments. And then that way, you know, because I feel like we're having a conversation and but then, you know, you're not actually here in person. So um, yeah, so write down in the, in the comments if you're liking this beige thing so far. It really helps me to know. But here you can see I brought in quite a bit of beige and I've done it in all those different shades again. I brought in the shagreen piece that just has like, it's, that has a fairly yellow undertone. It's not a super yellow. It's not so yellow that I can't put something brown next to it. But yeah, I mean, we definitely have quite a bit of the beige and that piece got some, and you probably wouldn't even think about that as being beige. It's almost so creamy, but it's got some beige running through it in the little box. And then I've got the art. And I think that the art is another great way to bring something new into your space, to try it out. These are really inexpensive pieces. This one came from West Elm. This one came from Decenio and I just got an entire box in of artwork from Decenio and it's all of these beige colors and I cannot wait to unbox it and get it all up on the walls. I'll definitely be sharing that with you very soon. So make sure you hit subscribe if you are not a subscriber already because we're gonna have lots of fun stuff coming out. But you can kind of see how I've kind of mixed it all. This is almost more of a taupe than it is a beige. But again, I, I don't think you should be a slave to thinking of beige as one color. Think of it more as this sort of neutral palette, this sort of creaminess and warmth that you're bringing into your space. And I think you'll have a lot more fun with it. I think if you get too particular about it, it'll just take a lot of your joy away. And I don't want that to happen to you because that's just not any fun. Okay, now I've also brought in pillows. I think the pillows are, pr that's always where I start. I always start with the pillows. And I go through phases where I want a ton of pillows and then I want no pillows. But I think ultimately a pillow is such, just, it's such an easy way to test out an idea. Pillows and blankets, it's kind of my thing. So I have brought in this little one, which I bought quite a while ago from Pottery Barn. I think they, they have some great pillow covers that are really affordable. I've got this one from H&M, which needs a good lint roll, but you can see it's creamy in the center. And that's when I saw this stuff coming out of Europe, I was like, does this even work in my own house? Can I bring these sort of creamy beige tones into my house? And I'm like, uh, let me try that first before we have too much of a conversation so I can show you whether I think it works or not. Now I've also got this little uh, blanket and that one's just an inexpensive one from Target but it again it's this sort of Sherpa it's really warm it's cozy and it's got these sort of like beigey undertones it's all very very creamy and I just think it looks great 
One last thing before I let you guys go and go hunt down my coffee one more time is I think that you can also bring your beige in through your wood tones. So I, this is part of the collection that I just got from Decenio and I'm getting ready to start putting some more of the beige tones in through my wood tones. So I actually did it kind of backwards because I brought the beige in through these chairs and I was like, oh, I love this. I've resisted this for so long because I just wanted that stark black and white. And now that I've started to bring these sort of pieces into the house, I'm like, this is not going to stop here. So I hope that you have a wonderful weekend if you're watching this on Friday or whenever this finds you. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Make sure to check us out um, on Instagram if you're not following us over there. We love to share a lot of the rooms and what's happening over there before a lot of times it gets here. You can also make sure you hit subscribe and uh, also check out our playlist. If you wanna have more, check out the colors and trends. You'll see how we kind of process through new things because I think for us running a design business, these are really important things. I don't wanna recommend something to my clients that's gonna literally go out of style in a, in a second. Most people don't wanna pay for design every single year. I, I mean, who does that, right? Like most people want something that's gonna be really lasting. And that's why my job is so important to check those trends, to try them in my own space and see how they feel. Does it feel like it's got longevity to it? That's why I think it's really important. So yeah, and anyways, check out those playlists and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go um, hunt down my husband, get back to work and definitely drink some coffee. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.